Hey YouTube, what's going on? Adam here with Retro Repairs and it's time for another repair video. So I got a package here, um, shipped from a viewer who said he had a couple games that he could not get working. If I wanted them, I could have them. So here we have them. Um, sounds like they've been taken apart and kind of just sent here. So let's see what we've got. Let's see what we're working with. Alright, so, got Legend of Zelda, some shielding, a pretty rough looking board, oh wow. So this has clearly been liquid damage, we've got damage component here, um, that needs a thorough cleaning. And it looks like someone's even tried to tin these contacts here, adding a little solder. There might be a break right here. It's hard. To, oh, that might just be printed on. Hard to say. Um, backside again. We've got some more tin pads. Um, battery looks like someone replaced the battery. So I had to go with that. All right. <clears throat> that's the back for that, and that's some nasty shielding. So that clearly sat in a puddle of something for few years. Well, let's see what else we got. All right, Super Mario RPG. Um, and this one is together. So let's, uh, let's take a look at this guy first. All right, so I'm going to start with Super Mario RPG. Um, I'd like to get this running as this is actually, this game's worth a little bit of money. Nothing crazy, but um, uh, probably goes for about 50 bucks or so, maybe more. Um, so let's see what we've got here. Let's open her up. If that uh, copy of Zelda is any indication of what this could be, I'm not even going to bother testing it yet. I just want to open her up, see what it looks like. Uh, we can give it a bit of a clean. Yeah, you can see that there's been some moisture in here. And the board... So that battery needs to come off. Yeah, there's some moisture on the back. I mean, overall, it doesn't look horrible. Really just gonna give it a solid cleaning first. Uh, looks like someone tried having a go at this uh, component right here. See some sloppy soldering. Maybe that's, no, that's soldering. It burn that or is that that's just flux so there's some leftover flux on there let's let's give this a thorough clean this whole thing needs to be clean before i can start uh troubleshooting individual components so let's grab my handy dandy toothbrush zoom you in a touch and let's go Okay, so that looks better. Um, so again, clearly we can see this little chip right here. Got some sloppy soldering, so I'm not even gonna test that until I straighten that up. I also wanna check all of these pins. I have a little tool, a little jeweler's loop, which helps magnify that. Now I don't imagine you're gonna be able to see this, but let's see if what we can do here. So you can kind of see right there, there's solder bridging. So that needs to be repaired. Um. <clears throat> Is that any better? No, that's, that's yeah, not bad. Down here, doesn't look too bad.
So these might need to be reflowed, but they don't look like there's any bridging or anything there. Yeah, those are okay. And then over here, Same thing, not too bad. This battery clearly is gonna need replacing as well. It's got some signs of water damage on it, so that's gonna come out. Let's, uh, let's take a look at this right now. All right, so that hum you hear is just me warming up my hot air gun. Um, I'm actually gonna try and remove this chip entirely, clean up those pads, and uh, reinstall. So first thing I wanna do is just Heat up the solder, add some new solder, get that a little bit cleaner. So let's get some flux in there. You know what, I think there's a missing pin on that. So that could also explain why that doesn't work. All right, so let's clean that up again and see what we've got. So I want to focus on this chip right here, and you'll note that, let's see if we can get it to focus, there we go, you'll see it's missing one of the pins, so that can explain why that's not going to work. Um, I don't know how you wound up losing a pin here, but let's see if I've got another uh, broken cartridge that has one of those that I can borrow. Um, but in the meantime, I'm just going to put that off to the side. And we're going to suck up the solder off of these pins here. So I'm going to get my so desoldering braid, add a little more flux, and turn the hot air off. So we're just going to heat up the pads. Oops. There we go. Heat up the pads, slide this over it. That's going to suck up that residual solder into the braid. You don't need to push down on those pads. You don't need to really rub hard. Just you're putting the weight of the iron down, moving it. And see there's that leg stuck right on that pad, I think. Maybe not. Let's see if we can get a better view. So right here, you see how one of these pads is black? Um, it's tough to tell, but it kind of looks like 
the leg is burnt onto the board here. So Yeah, so you see it's supposed to follow, let's use my tweezers to point it out. So it's supposed to follow this trace up here and go into this resistor right here, but um, I don't even know that we're getting any type of continuity and I don't think I'm gonna be able to solder onto that. So let's try a quick continuity test just to see, but I don't think, I think that pad got ripped off. It's just kind of tough to see. Nope, no continuity. Now if I dig in here. Yep, let's dig in here. Nothing. So let's try to see if some of this will just scratch away maybe. Does not look like it. So it looks like we've got a definitely a broken pad here. Or maybe just a broken trace. Maybe that pad is still there. Because I started to scratch that off and we are getting some sort of metal. So let's see if I can expose a little bit more of that. Yeah, so there is definitely a break along the way there because I cannot expose any more of this right here there's nothing to scrape away so looks like we're gonna have to repair that trace and then might be able to solder a replacement chip back in so or I may have to jump a wire from the pin probably what I'll do jump a wire from the pin into this trace here All right, I'm gonna see if I have a, a broken cart that has one of those that I can harvest. Okay, so I have a copy of Yoshi's Island right here, and this one has a bad FX chip. Um, however, this chip is the same one that I'm looking for right now. So I'm gonna remove this, I'm gonna try and transplant it, see if that solves the issue that we were having. So to reinstall this guy, um, what we're gonna do, put a little bit of flux on here, and I'm gonna put some solder on the corner pins. So let's get everything lined up here. So this one that we, that's discolored, I wanna try first just to make sure it's even gonna accept. Ultimately, I guess it doesn't matter if that one does because we're going to jump that anyways. But um, so I've got a little blob there. Now we're going to line up that chip in the orientation that we need to. So let's get this picked up. Okay, so that is tacked in place. Okay, so we have that lined up now. Let's attack in the other corner. And add a little more flux since a lot of what I put on there has already evaporated, or not evaporated, but been spent. Now just going to take my soldering iron 
and drag across the pins. So starting at the end here, add a little more solder. And that flux helps guide the solder exactly where we need it to be. That's a little too much there. So if you get a bridge like that, don't worry. You can come back, heat it up, spread it out, and it will disconnect itself. So now that the chip is reinstalled here, um, what I want to do is build a little jumper, and I'm going to use some very fine wire. So this is 28 gauge stranded wire, and what I'm going to do is take two strands, and then, there we go, and twist, oh, we got a third in there. Let's try that again. I'm going to take two strands, Pull the rest off to the side, and I'm going to twist these together. So just like that. So that gives us something to work with. I'm going to add a little bit of flux to those. Take my soldering iron. I'm going to add some solder to that iron. And then just going to tin this. So that means run the solder up the fluxed wire. That adds a very small amount of solder to that wire. It's going to make it easier to connect it to something. So I'm going to cut the tip off just so I make sure I have even length wire. And we're going to start, I think, by attaching it to this pin right here. So let's throw some flux on. Okay, so that's connected. Now, I'm going to add some solder to this trace. Add some more flux. Loop this wire over and solder it into place. Just like that. So once that cools, you can cut off the excess and then give that another clean. Okay, let's give that a test, see what we've got. All right, so Super Mario RPG, let's see what we've got. And it looks like we are good. Hopefully it boots right into the game. Nice, there we go. So it looks like it was definitely that damaged controller. Um, I think it's a memory bank controller, I could be wrong, I'd have to look up exactly. I'm not 100% familiar with the schematics of these boards, but... Um, I think that just helps it to read the ROMs properly. So obviously I need to clean out the inside of the shell, but we've got a fully working uh, Super Mario RPG now. So battery will need to be replaced still. Shell needs to be cleaned up, but otherwise 
we're pretty good. So that's going to be it for this particular video. Appreciate everyone watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. Uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel. You make sure you get notifications every time I post new content. And until next video, thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you next time.